Uh, today we had a really, a really nice ride. We are sneaking in rides and during a part of the year where we really, in the past, we'd be too cold or the roads would be too slippery. We've had good luck with the roads not being salted yet and with some of the scenery still as beautiful as ever. And of course, with every day that we can get out on the MT-09, it's, it's just way better than Rikers Island. Now today, Karen asked me to make a little correction on the video. I've been calling this the end of fall, the Indian summer, and she said that's not correct. And, you know, maybe she's right. She certainly knows a lot more than I do. But I, cu I couldn't come up with a, the right thing. So what I decided to do is call this video Indian winter. <laughs> this is what we have. Now, winter means, to me, the pond isn't frozen. See, once the pond is frozen, riding's done and we're ready to start ripping things apart here. But, but the pond isn't, hasn't frozen yet. We've had some frost, I don't know, but, but it's still an Indian winter. Now, obviously, my goal was, before the pond froze up and before it got below freezing, was to wear out the back tire to find out how much mileage I'd get on it. That's, we're not even close yet, so that test is uh, off the table. But I did have a great idea last night. John Pothia did another another one of his Photoshop things showing this bike now that it has all the blue parts. He did it in the past with Photoshop, but now we have real pictures of the bike with the blue paint and how it would look with the silver wheels. Now the silver wheels, it's not as simple as you think. You think, oh, you just go buy a can of silver, or some people I've seen them but use spray paint. Well, yeah, there's nothing wrong with spray paint, that's for sure, but but the bottom line, I'm real fussy. I want to have, I have a look in my mind, like a concept, and I want it to be exact. Now these wheels were really a long time coming. They're hand buffed, and boy, they are, they have stood the test of time. There isn't a flaw in them. But I want to have something, I'm trying to get something even a little bit different. Now, the thing that I'm looking for is a bright color silver, like this is, but not the look of chrome. I don't want it to look like it's got chrome wheels. That's that's not for me. I'd, I'd, really, I'd rather have this. Now, I remember Joe Roselli's MV Augusta, the big one, not the one he has now, had silver wheels. I loved those silver wheels when the sun would shine. And that kind of was part of the inspiration for these. But the thing is, now I've got all the blue done, the blue and the silver, to me. This is a real nice combo. But what I want to do, and I think it's going to be a really cool thing, I think this may work out good because I see, I thought the temperature was going to go away. By now we'd be, you know, I'd be chopping ice on a pond. Well, we're taking advantage of our Indian winter. But I do have a spare RD wheel. And what I thought I'd do is use it as a test piece. Take it down, clean it up, prime it, and then paint all of the test paint I'm going to make. I'm going to make four or five different colors of silver. Do one, one, one. And then I could actually take that wheel that's painted out to the garage, put it next to the bike, and see which color silver. And believe me, silver is not all silver. It's like gold. It's all white. Actually, actually any color is like that. But, but to get that silver, I want it to be bright, but not chrome. And that's, boy, is that a fine line to walk. And that when, you, when you mix silver pigment, there's different sizes of flake. And it starts with paste and it goes up to metal flake and is everything in between. So we got a challenge ahead of us, but I've been saving it for some, some really <laughs> frozen pond days. But every day I come out here, I do the battery charges and I look around, I look at the silver wheels and I think, wow, I, this is the final cherry on a Sunday for the MT-09. And the blue paint could not have come out better. I want to keep the bike a naked bike. I don't want to turn it into, some, you, know, a, you know, a cafe racer or something. But I do want to have that, that really, really custom look of the wheels. I want that to be the part of the bike that jumps out at you when you, you park it somewhere and somebody says, whoa, did the factory make that? Because it's got to always look like the factory might have made that. That's part of doing what I think is the correct thing for me of a custom bike. So as I look up into the black hole in space, I see I have two, I have two extra RD rims. And that'll be a future project maybe this week. I want to pull down the rim, clean it, get rid of the tire, and make, make what is going to be a whole wheel, I, again, that I can put the wheel right by the MT-09 in real time in the sunlight. And I know John's, John's pictures are wonderful, but to see it in real life, in fluorescent light, incandescent and sunlight, once I make the decision, because once I commit to this, 
you're looking at a lot of hours to do those wheels. It's not, it's not a one week job. And it'll all be on our channel in the future. Now, of course, everybody has their own taste of what they think is custom and what's nice and what works for you, what works for me. But this bike has been a work in progress for over a year now. The way the little headlight pieces worked out, getting the custom made paint, the Chromax worked out perfectly. And I'm wondering the last step for this winter is going to be to get a set of those bright but not chrome. And that is a fine line to walk, boy. Because if you get that wrong, it's time to repaint them. And most of the things about the MT-09 are very unique. Some of the things are asymmetrical. Some of the things people hate. Some of the things people love. But there's, there's a thing about it that, with me anyway, that windshield being laid back changed a lot. It just has a look, a very unique look. You'd never, you park it in a crowd of uh, ordinary sport bikes, it stands out. So Karen has advised me it's going to be 40 very soon. Why don't I get out on the open road so I can get back early? She's got some of her friends coming over. We're in the middle of the holiday season. And it just couldn't be any better. We have had a banner holiday season. I hope it's the same for your family. Now, because I've had the bike for a year and uh, way over 10,000 miles now, I, I've looked at it so many times and from so many angles and taken so many pictures and I'm always looking for something that I want to change I want to make a little improvement on it's all little subtle stuff there's no part of this bike that's a big giant thing it's a lot of little details but every one of them to me makes the bike nicer it makes it more functional and in in my mind it just makes it something that it's my bike you know, bikes all pre-flighted, cleaned, and we are ready. Supposed to go in the 40s momentarily. <laughs> that was the that was the case yesterday. I don't think it ever went into the 40s, but I don't care. It's a rideable day. Bundle up. This is what I always like about when Karen entertains her friends. <laughs> there's always cookies left. Well, most of the time there's cookies left over at the end of the day. Okay, time for another cup of coffee, and we're going to get ready. That open road is calling. Santa Claus is calling. We are ready. Oh, it's looking like it's going to be, it's going to be at least 39 degrees in 10 minutes. And boy, the holiday season, we just love sharing it with our friends. And actually sharing it with our friends. If you're watching YouTube, you're one of our friends. Now, before I get suited up, I wanted to share this. This came this morning from John Pothier. And it's a photo I sent him from the previous day. And he, with his Photoshop skills, and thank you, John, gave me a little preview of what it's going to look like with the silver wheels. Now, I have the old one that we did a while ago that didn't have some of the other, didn't have the blue we, we have since painted it. This was to preview what the, the little part under the headlight and the side covers would look blue. Having these Photoshop skills like John does really plays to our advantage. But the silver wheels are going to be, going to be absolutely a key to this whole project. Now, if you've never been down to my little editing studio, you know I have two, two computers. And, of course, I can put the picture up on both. And it really is to my advantage when I can do this. And John Pothier has been responsible for helping me set this all up. Actually, he's been responsible for the whole editing studio going up. And this has really, really been great for editing video and when we're doing a custom job like this see while i'm out on the open road today what i want to do is i want to dream about this and as the late george venturini used to always remind me when we'd be working dreams are free but i want to get that in my mind and it allows me to sit here and think what what if anything do i want to do as the next thing after the silver wheels and this was a key thing to getting that windshield right and i'm sure there's more things coming up but anyway it's time to get suited up Head out on the open road. Now, I know a lot of people look at these videos on their, uh, their telephone, but, you know, I like to look at them on my big screen TV upstairs. But because they go out in high def, I can look at them on my monitor here, and I can see things I want to adjust, correct, and or edit out. <laughs> anyway, good memories from the summer. I'll be thinking about all of this while I'm out on the open road. Look at those silver wheels. I've been trying to share useful information about the electric gloves too. These, the batteries are still working, but as soon as they go, 
if they go, even if one goes, I'm going to convert them over to those RC car batteries. They have worked great in the electric jacket. I can't tell you, to get to go out on a day when it's really cold, this makes the difference between coming home with pneumonia or coming home and having a hot cup of coffee and saying like it never happened. I've also been keeping a lithium, the big lithium jumper battery down in a cell and not out in the garage. I take it in and out every day. I've heard, I'm not sure if it's correct because you never know when you see things on YouTube, <laughs> I should know, right? But what By believing he's out in the cold, you don't do them any favor. And I don't know if that's totally true, but the last one only lasted two years. This one we're, is already a year old, so coming up on a year. I want to make sure I always have a in case I ever have to jump start my bike or somebody else's bike or a car. I'm not sure I'm ever going to believe the weatherman again. They, it, it may be 40 degrees back in Rutherford, but it's not 40 degrees up north here. This is, this is not the same thing. Anyway, thank God I got those electric gloves and that jacket, or right now I'd be, I'd be blue-lipped and have a runny nose. But we're going to tough this out. It is a nice day. Now, like tons of leaves still all over the place, and obviously so on the road. It's, it's my worst nightmare to come around a blind corner and have one of these landscapers with the back of the truck open and the ramp there and do an evil Knievel right into the back of the landscaping truck. Oh, my God. I dream about that. <laughs>
And there can't be a landscaper in northern New Jersey that isn't a millionaire by now. I, well, on a course of a ride in three hours, I'll bet I pass 100 landscapers, and they're always blocking. They're in the middle of the road. They always have that little ramp in the back. It's a nightmare, not a dream. Karen's already warned me when I get back to the house, her girlfriends are going to be there to having uh, cookies and coffee and tea and stuff, that I have to be on good behavior and that there's no, uh, I can't show these women my true colors. Uh, I have a feeling Karen's in for a big surprise at the end of this video. <laughs> And I'm so happy as I go through these populated areas because there are some populated areas as I have to go through here. I don't have a choice. And and I just remember riding of really loud mufflers. And boy, it, I know that people were giving me dirty looks and uh, phoning in my phone number. And now I just stealth bite them. They don't even know I'm there. Now, between that quiet muffler and having the uh, the Valentine radar detector, I wonder how many times, if I had one of the real loud bikes and no radar detector, I wonder what the total amount of money I would have paid out in tickets would be. <laughs> it, it would be significant, I'm sure. But it seems like every day there's less and less uh, leaves anywhere on the trees and they're all doing their nature thing. And that usually means winter is well on the way. And you know in the end, winter's going to win. I have to be honest, I was thinking about the wheel project, the upcoming wheel project. Some of the things I want to do to make some special paint for this bike, I think it's really going to be the cherry on the Sunday.
Now, if you're new to the channel, it is one of the first windy videos you're watching. All of these wheels, all of these restorations, they're all within that 2400 videos. You just type my name in quotation marks and custom wheels or the subject carbon fiber, the subject custom paint, anything, and those videos will come right up. And as I bought gas today at over four bucks a gallon for high test, it just reminded me one of the features that I, I did actually did not expect when I brought the bike. I wasn't expecting 50 plus miles a gallon, but this bike has never gone below 50 miles a gallon. Anytime I put gas in it, uh, it's amazing. And it won't be long and all the lakes in the area will be frozen and over a typical winter here not many of these lakes don't freeze over and i i don't know that's usually the time i'm glad i'm working down in a warm cellar and drinking coffee Now, I've stopped at this uh, this place many times, but never gotten off. It's a Dor the Dormus house. I've, I've never gotten off and looked inside. It's never been open. I don't know if it's even open to the public, but I walked around here, and it's, it's a pretty cool building. It's right on a main road, and I, I don't know. One of these days, it's going to be open. I want to go inside and see what's in there. It looks like they got a lot of old furniture in there and a lot of antique stuff, and you walk around, nobody ever stops you, So, but, but there's no sign saying if it's ever open to the public. But it's a cool photo op spot, and it's a good place to stop and take some pictures. Now, to be honest, because of the temperature, it's being a lot colder up here. What I was thinking, how good is that coffee going to taste? And I know Karen's got her friends over, so there's going to be cookies all over the table. And cookies and coffee, and hope that your jacket battery doesn't go down. Well, now it is time to turn around, head back, make sure that uh, those the the coffee and the cookies will be on the table. Now, Karen's usually pretty good when her friends aren't over. She hears the bike coming to the yard and she'll hit the button so the coffee's already hot and in a cup by the time I get in the house. Well, because her friends are there, it, it always turns out to be a little bit of an adventure. Another Indian winter ride. What a 
We are stealing them here. I can't believe it. I never, I never seen a winter like this before. I, it's still, it's still better than not riding at all. Now, for some people, of course, they don't agree with that. Well, that's okay too. We can all be friends. I enjoy riding every day. I need the exercise, number one, and I, I just love getting out on the open road, even for two or three hours, and freezing a little bit. When I come home, the coffee always tastes unbelievably good. And I'm gonna go have coffee right now. When I get back from a ride and there's no cookies left, I had I have I taken pictures before and after. <laughs> so you got were you I, doing telling Wendy jokes while I was around? Yes, we were. We were. Yeah. We just did she it. tell you what she did? Did she confess? She threw my shoes away. Oh God! My shoes. I I had them since. Oh, Karen, she. The seven and a half uh, don't fit. They don't fit. Them. Them. <laughs> she <laughs> threw my shoes away. She oh, said I need oh. new shoes. She said I look like an old man wearing slippers. <laughs> I'll have a cookie if I you don't know. mind. So, so let, let me see which one now, do I want. Now, I'll have one of these. <laughs> he had these Uggs, but they're not Uggs. They're Walmart Uggs. Mmm. Tell me that's not good. They just look like Uggs. The beige. Confession is good for the soul. Outside. And I, said, I like wearing them outside. They're perfectly blooded. You can't go out in slippers. God will punish you. So finally I asked. I said, just toss them away. And he did it begrudgingly. He got rid of them. I put them in a the garbage can oh, thinking she'd bullshit. take them out she to show me how much she loved me, but she go. didn't. <laughs> she left them in a the garbage can. <laughs> yeah, I did. I did. So we're after hanging out with Karen's friends for a while and having a couple of cookies. It's time to charge up all the batteries and hope tomorrow's a riding day. If not, we're going to work on that wheel. Now, being honest, I did spend a good part of this ride dreaming about silver wheels on the MT-09. It's a project I've dreamed about uh, basically since I bought the bike. But I've dreamed about a lot of stuff. The windshield worked out very well. And all the little details, the side panels, the little things under the headlight, they've all worked out well. I did all my pond maintenance and still dreaming about those wheels. But anyway, if you're new to the channel, again, we do try to post up something every day. I have a very humble bike collection of one bike from every 10 years that I've been involved in motorcycling, and I've been involved in motorcycling for a long time. Anyway, I, I hate to admit how long. Anyway, we do try to make the videos entertaining. With the custom work that we do, we make carbon fiber parts, paint wheels, restore old bikes that are uh, pretty much uh, on their last leg, try to keep them running. And we do track days. We shoot some videos at various rides and places that we go to and hang out with our friends and try to pretend we're young again. So if you enjoyed the video, I hope you share it with your friends. And of course, I hope most of all that we'll see you tomorrow. And thanks again for watching.